Hi there, folks. It's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about AI and some of the guardrails that you've got to place around AI, especially if you're a association in 2024. This is amazing technology, but there are some major security and ethical problems with it that you've got to fully understand. And if you do, you will avoid some major problems that might occur for your organisation. I'll be back in a few moments, folks. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the guide rails that you've got to place if you are especially an association and you're looking to utilise AI in your organisation. Now, one of the major things you've got to understand is that um, AI is has some certain problems that have been identified in some of the leading providers of this technology. And basically, it's a kind of principle of computer science and it is rubbish in, rubbish out. And the AI, the AI at the present moment that uses a language model, a linguistic model of high mathematics is amazing technology, but it just is in some ways a very powerful mimic tool it's a bit like a parrot. Um, parrots are quite intelligent animals. Um, I think the average, depending on the species, um, it can be between two to three years of age. Um, and they can mimic tone, tonization, and language patterns. Well, this is what you're getting with a sophisticated language model to some extent. Um, it can also identify patterns extremely better than the human being. This identifying patterns um, in large scale data groups is not a, a strength of the human condition, shall I put it that way? Um, so if the programmers of these language models have biased racial sexual bias and they put they the data they put into the language model um that bias will show up in the results you get and there was i think it was over a year ago or might be a little bit longer there was a technology based around this that microsoft um, was developing in-house. I'm not talking about OpenAI and Microsoft's linkage to this particular company. This was an in-house um, project. They built a, a language model and they put it on the internet to allow people to put search queries. And some of the stuff that was coming out of it was horrendous, quasar-fascist, quasar-Nazi in tonage. And is it, it, they had to take take it off, basically, uh, offline, um, because it was a bit embarrassing. Um, so you must keep this in mind, because this can get your organisation into some hot water, not only around the reputation of your association, but also the legal consequences. Um, so you definitely, it's just common sense. Everything needs to be checked, but you need some mechanisms that observe the checking process and is it being done? And is it being done to the required standard of the association? So that's number one. Number two is access to the APIs and the other technology that you're going to be utilised, um, especially online, around who has 
access and who doesn't have access to the data. The data, if you're utilising it, especially around the membership for business intelligence to find out patterns, uh, find out more information about the usage of the association's website and other online resources and trying to gather which parts of the information or the services that you're providing to find deeper insight. These are all extremely attractive um, things for association and totally understandable. But who has access to that data? Who is there any kind of framework or internal documentation to lay out who has access, who doesn't? So there are two basic ideas I'm laying out to you that you've got to be aware of. I've written a much more extensive article. You'll find the link in the video description that goes into this in a lot more detail. Um, also, if you want to chat, a consultation with me about this, you can go to the WP Tonic website and book a half hour with me totally free and we can discuss some of these issues. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That really shows YouTube that I'm doing something right and I would be very appreciative. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.